Welcome to Web Handling. My name is Dave Roysom. In this clip, we list some of the primary tooling that is used for roller alignment. Almost all roller alignment is done using one of these sets of tools. I say sets because no single device can get the job done by itself. Indeed, a good alignment crew will need a whole van full of tools. We covered hand tools in a previous clip. Unfortunately, while useful for detecting roller misalignment and other needs, they can seldom be safely used for correcting roller alignment. Please review that clip for details. Optics are the oldest, most common, and most precise of the methods. These tools are precise to about one thousandth of an inch in the real world under good conditions. Lasers and gyros are currently two to ten times more sloppy. So why would you consider devices that are sloppier? That is because there are many other considerations besides accuracy. Cost is a big factor. In here, we must consider the cost of the equipment or service as well as how long it takes to set up and take measurements. Here, gyros and lasers shine because they are much faster. However, it is not merely a trade-off between accuracy and cost. There is convenience as well. You could purchase optical tooling and train somebody to use it. This would enable your plant to have alignment done at any time of the day or night. Unfortunately, lasers and gyros can't be purchased at this time, so you are at the mercy of the schedule of a third party. These and other details are covered in my 2013 presentation on roller alignment mechanics that can be replayed by AIMCAL members. Thank you so very much for watching this module in my plant practical series. If you want more information on roller alignment, see other clips in this series, or better yet, consider my Web 101 course that will give you the necessary foundation on this most necessary subject.